In this video, we'll be working on a heat loss related problem involving windows. So let's picture the situation. We have a cabin and let's assume it's winter. So the outside temperature will be 5 degrees Celsius, but we like to stay inside at 20 degrees Celsius. You currently use a lot of energy for heating, so you would like to reduce your heating costs. A salesperson says that you can reduce heating loss by over 90% if you replace your single pan windows with double pan windows. Do you think the salesperson is right? Here, we're dealing with a very applicable problem that may one day come to use if you ever decide to replace your windows to save on heating costs. We want our windows to be well insulated so that we can minimize heat reduction, but we need to first understand something called the R value first. So the R value is the insulating material's resistance to conductive heat flow, or its thermal resistance. There are many examples as shown here in this picture. So the higher the R value of the material, the more resistance it has to heat flow and the lower the heating costs will be of the household. This is great if you want to reduce your costs and increase the amount of heat that stays in your house. So here is the cabin again and we'll call the temperature outside T outside and the temperature inside will be called T inside. Assuming we have a heating system inside, the heat will escape outside the house through the glass as indicated by the red arrows. A single pan window has a small R value because there is little resistance to the heat flow, so the heat can escape easily. Now, when we install a double panned window, we have three layers that the heat must flow through, so the R value will be higher because there is more resistance to heat flow. So the resistant effect of the three layers should add up to a total heat resistance of the window. This will be R total equals R glass plus R air plus R glass. Now that we have some understanding of R values and resistance to heat flow, let's see if we can solve the question. So we said the single pan window has little resistance to heat flow, while a double pan window has more resistance to heat flow. So let's compare the heat loss between the two types of windows. So let's look at the single pan window first. Because we said that there isn't much resistance to heat loss, we can use the heat conduction formula as seen in your textbook. So Q over delta T indicates the transfer of thermal energy, A is the area of the window, D is the thickness of the glass, and K is the thermal conductivity of the glass. Let's use some realistic values and calculate the heat loss through a window with an area of 1 meter square and a glass thickness of 3 millimeters. We can find the K value for glass in your textbook. Now you can go ahead and plug the values in. And this is what we get. This is how much heat we are losing, which will increase your heating costs. Now, if you wanted to, you could solve this in terms of R value and resistance using this equation. So the total resistance would be the thickness of the glass D over the firmer conductivity of the glass K because there is only one layer. We use the same values as previously. And when you plug all the values in, you should get something similar as in the previous case. So if the R value is small, you get a high heat transfer because much of the heat is escaping through the window. You can see this if the denominator is small, you get a big number. Remember we said that R total equals R glass plus R air plus R glass. This is because we have three layers of resistance. 
When we solve the formula for resistance, this is what we get. We have two pans of glass of 3 mm thickness separated by an air gap of 2 mm thickness. So here are the values. We can plug them into the equation. And this is our total resistance. Now when we go back to our heat conduction formula, we can plug the values in and get this. Notice that this is significantly less than what we got for the single pan window. Let's compare the two windows now. So this fraction is the amount of heat loss that is reduced. So the salesperson was correct in promising a reduction in heat loss of more than 90% compared to a single pan window. So you can go ahead now and replace all your windows with a double pan window and you'll never be cold again. I hope that you found this video helpful.